ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் டுடே இஸ் கார்த்திகை மந்த் ரோஹிணி நட்சத்திரம் திஸ் இஸ் தி திருநட்சத்திரம் ஆஃப் திருப்பான ஆழ்வார் ஹீ இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் அஸ் முனிவாகன யோகி வாகன லெட் அஸ் என்ஜாய் ஹிஸ் லைஃப் அண்ட் க்ளோரிஸ் ப்ரீஃப்லி திருப்பான் ஆழ்வார் வாஸ் பார்ன் இன் திரு உறையூர் உறையூர் இஸ் அ திவ்யதேசம் நியர் ஸ்ரீரங்கம் தெர் வாஸ் அ கிங் நேம்ட் தர்மவர்மா ஹூ வாஸ் ரூலிங் திஸ் கிங்டம் ஹேவிங் உறையூர் as his headquarters he had a beautiful daughter named kamalavalli nachiyar she was an amsam or an incarnation of neela devi who is a divine consort of sri man narayana this kamalavalli nachiyar had great attachment towards namberumal sri ranganatha of sri rangam she reveals her desire to her father the king and the king requests emberman to marry her namberumal too happily accepts the proposal and they both get married soon after it was around this time tirupanalvar took birth he was blessed right when he was born by emberman this is said as jayamana kataksham that means blessing of bhagavan when a child was born that leads to the child growing up with great devotion towards bhagavan with the interest to be liberated from this material world tirupanalvar was one such person who was blessed by bhagavan during his birth he was born in panchamakula Panchamakula means the fifth clan. This indicates that this Panchamakula, Panchamakula clan was considered to be outside the Varna system. There is Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra and those who don't even have any of the qualities described for these four varnas they are classified as panchamas he was born in a panar family pana means singer they sing for the pleasure of others he was born in such a family he grew up with great attachment towards sri ranganatha and he was always singing for the pleasure of sri ranganatha although he never entered into the town of sri rangam he always resided on the shore of kaveri river throughout the day he would stay at the banks of river kaveri facing sri ranganathan he would keep singing the glories of sri ranganatha and emberman will be greatly pleased with tirupanalvar once an important incident happens in his life this is a well known incident for most of us there was a kaikarya para for sri ranganatha a servitor his name 
was Loka Saranga Muni. He would perform the Kaikaryam of bringing water for Embermans Tirvaradhanam, daily worship in Sri Rangam. One day, he came to the banks of river Kaveri to fetch water. At that time, Tirupanalwar was sitting at the banks from where Lokasaranga Muni will fetch water regularly. Tirupanalwar was deep into meditating upon Sri Ranganatha's qualities and was in a trance. Lokasaranga Muni tries to awaken him, but he would not. become awake. So Lokasaranga Muni picks up a stone from the ground and throws that stone on Tirupanalwar that hits Tirupanalwar and it wounds, wounds him, it hurts him and Tirupanalwar becomes awakened and realizing that he was blocking the way, he quickly begs for forgiveness and moves away. Lokasaranga Muni fetches water and returns to Sri Ranganathan's Sanyadi. Sri Ranganathan, feeling very upset about what happened, tells Lokasaranga Muni that he has committed an offence upon Tirupanalwar. Lokasaranga Muni realizes his mistake and Periya Permal Sri Ranganatha gives him a solution too. He tells Lokasaranga Muni, go right now and bring Tirupanalwar here. This is how you can atone for his, for your sins, for your offenses. Lokasaranga Muni hesitates for a moment and Ranganatha understands what he is thinking that Lokasaranga Muni, when he goes and asks Tirupanalwar, Tirupanalwar may refuse to come along. So Periya Perumal gives an idea, a suggestion to Lokasaranga Muni, he says, if he does not want to come, you have to forcefully bring him in. You have to carry him and bring him in. Lokasaranga Muni accepts that verdict and he right away goes to Tirupanalwar. Lokasaranga Muni begs for forgiveness from Tirupanalwar for his mistake and asks him to come along with him based on Periya Perumal's order. Tripanalwar, as expected, refuses to come along with him, saying he cannot enter Sri Rangam because he is born in a Panchama Kula. He says he respects the Shastra and he would not step on Sri Rangam. Lokasaranga Muni immediately tells him, Okay, if you don't want to step on Sri Rangam, just climb on my shoulder. I will carry you, so you are not stepping on Sri Rangam. At the same time, you are fulfilling the orders of Periya Piramal. Unable to refuse that idea, as Tirupanalwar thinks that he should follow the orders of Periya Perumal and also the desire of Lokasaranga Muni, 
as an important act for him to obey he climbs the shoulders of lokasarangamuni and lokasarangamuni brings him to periya perumal on the way tirupanalvar sings amalanadi piran the beautiful prabandham which talks about periya perumal's beauty physical beauty fully he starts from the divine feet of periya perumal and in nine pasrams he enjoys all the different limbs of emberman by the time he completes the ninth pasaram they are almost into the sanctum sanctorium tirupanalvar sings the tenth pasaram declaring that the eyes which have seen periya perumal will no longer see anything else and he enters into the sanctum goes towards the divine divine feet of periya perumal and ascends to paramapadam right from there this is the wonderful charitram of tirupanalvar as recorded in the guru parampara prabhavam let us now enjoy some of the glorious aspects of tirupanalvar for amalanandi amalanadi piran alayamanal perumal nayanar has written a beautiful commentary in that commentary he brings out a wonderful aspect about tirupanalvar's birth we have seen that he was born in panchamakula that is outside the varna system as seen by worldly people nayanar identifies that periya perumal also sees tirupanalvar as part of outside the varna system and he goes on to explain why it is he explains that periya perumal considers him at the same level as nitya suris nitya suris also don't belong to any of the varnas brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra so periya perumal considers him as good as nitya suris that is his speciality just like emberman showed his vishwarupam to arjuna by presenting him divine eyes just as how akrura malakara were able to see and behold the divine form of emberman periya perumal manifested his beautiful form to tirupanalvar also one speciality of tirupanalvar is that other alvars sang about various aspects such as their suffering in samsaram they instructed samsaris about the means to reach bhagavan they narrated the beauty of the videsham and so on but tripan alvar only focused on the divine form of periya perumal he did not think about anything else and only thought about emberman and his divine form that is a distinct distinguishing factor between tirupanalvar and other alvars from this charitram of tirupanalvar and lokasarangamuni we also understand the cruelty of cruel nature of bhagavata apacharam committing offenses towards devotees of bhagavan as lokasarangamuni committed an offense offense towards tirupanalvar emberman shows 
to Loka Sarangamani that such offence will not be tolerated by him at any cost. He sends Loka Sarangamani himself to go to Tirupanalwar and beg for forgiveness from Tirupanalwar. And he also makes Loka Sarangamani himself bring Tirupanalwar to him. So this way, how one should avoid such offences can be understood by going through this incident. Finally, a very important aspect is revealed by Alavandar. During his final days, finally, let us see what Alavandar, that is Yamunacharya, the divine grandson of Natamunigal, explained about Tirupanalwar's greatness. Alavandar was on his final days before ascending to Paramapadam, he gave final instructions to the three Vaishnavas who were assembled there in Sri Rangam. One of those main instructions was about Tirupanalwar. Alavandar was saying that every one of us should meditate upon Tirupanalwar, who is always at the divine feet of Periya Perumal. He was saying, he himself was thinking about Tirupanalwar all the time, meditating up upon the divine form of Tirupanalwar who was fully immersed in the divine form of Periya Perumal. Such was Tirupanalwar's greatness. We have enjoyed some glimpses of his glories. Let us meditate upon Tirupanalwar. Alwar, Embermanar, Jiya Tiruvadigale Sharnam, Jiya Tiruvadigale Sharnam. Please download our Koil K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store to listen to or download Upanyasams like these. Our website portal is k o y i l dot o r g koil dot org. Alva.